This is an overview of basic offline programming with your X2 controller. Throughout this video, we will cover basic programming steps required for an irrigation program. We will show you how to set the date and time, how to assign a start time to the program, how to set run times for each station in the program, and how to assign watering days. We will use the arrows to navigate throughout the various settings. We will use the plus and minus buttons to change the current value while it is flashing. The PRG button allows us to change between programs A, B, and C. The first step in programming any controller is to set the current date and time. To do this, turn the dial to the date time position. The year will be flashing, meaning that it is ready to be changed using the plus or minus buttons. Press the right arrow to advance to the month and change it using plus or minus buttons. Press the right arrow and then press plus or minus buttons to change from AM to PM or to enable 24-hour mode. Press the right arrow again to advance to the hour and change it using the plus or minus buttons. Advance to the minutes and adjust them as well. Turn the dial back to run. Now that we have programmed our current date and time, we are ready to set our watering schedules. But before we do that, let's review terminology. A station is a group of sprinklers that are controlled by a single valve. A station is also known as a zone. A program is a group of stations that share the same watering schedule. By schedule, we mean watering days of the week on which the program will run as well as the number of times the program will cycle per watering day. If all stations will be watering on the same days and the same number of times a day, you can program all your stations in the same program. However, if some of your zones need to be watered more or less frequently than others, then you must separate them into multiple programs so they can have different day schedules. The ideal way to use programs is to organize them by plant types. For example, all turf grass zones might have a particular day schedule, but all shrub zones might need less frequent watering. Use program A for turf and program B for shrubs. Another reason to separate stations into programs would be if some zones need to be watered only once a day and other zones need to be watered multiple times a day. Each program can have a different number of start times. The start time is the time when the program will initiate the watering cycle. You can set multiple start times for each program, which will cause the program to run more than once. You can have a program water up to four times per watering day. Remember that each start time causes all stations within a program to run a complete cycle in sequential order. Let's say that you have two newly seeded zones, stations 1 and 2, for example. And because it's new grass, you may need to water four times a day, with the exception of Thursday because that's a mowing day. Let's also say that you have another two zones with trees, and these areas may need to be watered once per day, but every four days. Therefore, we'll need to divide these four stations into two different programs, A and B. Program A can have stations 1 and 2 with the new grass, and Program B can have stations 3 and 4 with the trees. How to assign a start time to the program. Each program requires three ingredients to be complete. A start time, a run time, and days to water. We'll start by programming the start times. Turn the dial to start times. The display will show the first start time in Program A. The first start time represents the first complete cycle of all the stations that have a runtime in program A. We'll use the plus or minus buttons to program the time we want our system to cycle for the first time, in our case, 6 a.m. Since we want to water multiple times a day, we need to advance to the next starting time so that it cycles a second time at 10 a.m. Advance to the third start time and program it for 2 p.m.
And finally, a fourth start time for 6 p.m. X2 controllers allow you to program a maximum of four start times. Later on, when you need to cancel some of the start times, simply press the plus or minus buttons numerous times until you find the word off, which happens to be between 11.45 p.m. and 12 a.m. Set run times for each station in the program. The next step is assigning a run time for all the stations within program A. Turn the dial to run times. Here is where we designate the length of time that each station within the program will run. Let's program 10 minutes on each of the two stations with new grass. Do this by pressing the plus or minus buttons. Advance to station two using the right arrow and program 10 minutes as well. We'll leave the rest of the stations set to zero. Stations 3 and 4 will be assigned to program B since they require a different schedule. When all the run times have been entered, it's possible to see how long the entire start time will run. With the dial in the runtime position, use the left and right arrows to get to station 1. Then press the left arrow one more time and the total duration of the start time will be shown. This function is known as the total runtime calculator. How to assign watering days. The last component for program A is setting the days to water. Turn the dial to water days. Let's program it to water every day except for Thursday, which is our mowing day. To activate a day, press the plus button. To cancel a day, press the minus button. We'll press the plus for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. For Thursday, we'll press the minus button, and for the rest of the week, we'll press the plus button. Turn the dial back to run. This completes program A. Now we are ready to start the process again with program B. Let's turn the dial back to start times and press the PRG button to go to program B. This time, we are going to program the first and only start time at 5 a.m. Because we only want program B to cycle once per watering day, we'll leave the remaining start time set to off. Turn the dial to run times. Because station one and two have been already assigned to program A, we'll leave them at zero. Let's program 20 minutes on stations 3 and 4, which correspond to the trees. Any other stations should be set to zero. For the days to water, we decided that stations 3 and 4 are in program B and only need to be watered every 4 days. Turn the dial to water days. We'll use interval days to program this schedule. To access this mode, press the left arrow button while the check mark is flashing next to Monday. The interval number will be flashing. Use the plus or minus buttons to program how often you want to water. Since we want to water every four days, we'll program an interval of four, which means the system will skip three days between water days, therefore watering on the fourth day. When you program an interval schedule, you will be asked how many days should elapse before watering. Zero days left means X2 will water on the very next watering start time. So if we have a start time set for tonight, after we are done programming, X2 will water tonight. Otherwise, it will water tomorrow. If we program one day left, it will skip one day and water on the following day. At the bottom of the display, you will see days of the week, where you can cancel days that you do not wish to water. You can also cancel odd or even days from the interval schedule. 
In our example, we usually do yard work on Thursdays. We don't want to be surprised by the sprinklers, so we'll choose to water every four days, but never on Thursdays. Other options available when programming the days to water include odd and even. The odd days are the first, third, and fifth, and so on days of the month. Likewise, even days are second, fourth, sixth, etc. You can access the odd or even days from the specific days of the week screen. Take the cursor to Sunday and press the right arrow button again. Odd will appear. If you press the minus button, even will appear. Whichever you leave flashing on the screen will be the one that takes effect. As you learned, setting up a program requires at least one start time, run times on the stations you want assigned to the program, and days to water. What we have covered in this video are the basic steps for setting up a simple program. However, this controller offers advanced features that will be discussed in a separate video. For detailed information, be sure to visit the support page or the quick start guide. You can find them at hunterindustries.com. Thanks for watching.